So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with an incredibly special The Hunter Call of the Wild video. You will have seen the title on the thumbnail and you may have seen the community post that I put on my community tab last night. Last night I was out here grinding black bears on SRP and my second ever Great One Black Bear showed up. It was a complete and utter shock. I'm still really not fully like having processed that it happened. It was crazy. But before we get into all of that, I have to start off by talking what happened in the lead up to this. Now, we're going to start off with a few clips. And you'll notice some of these, including this one, are from pre-Emerald Coast. And basically, before Emerald Coast released, I was actually doing a sort of mini black bear grind. I wasn't talking about it too much, but basically in my spare time, I was out on SRP shooting bears just to see what you know, a potential great one black bear grind would be like now with all the changes and just to see if maybe I'd get insanely lucky and maybe get one before the release of Emerald Coast. And the very first diamond that ended up showing up, as you will have seen, was a max weight max score. And then this one showed up. Not quite max weight, but also max score. So the two first diamonds I ended up getting were both max score. Now, I had only ever had one max score black bear before this and it was a cinnamon before cinnamons were made rare and I was really really stoked to get a couple of max scores that weren't actually the cinnamons because I feel a bit odd displaying a max score cinnamon in my lodge now because they're now a rare but it wasn't a rare when I shot it so I was really excited to have some more max score bears and obviously max score predators they don't show up a whole lot so I was really stoked about that and then a third diamond showed up, another pretty good size one, not quite max score like the other two, but 23.22. And I thought, okay, I'm actually getting diamonds. And I was getting diamonds a lot more frequently than my first great one, Black Bear Grind, in which I only got five diamonds in 4.8 thousand kills. Now I was killing males and females, but still in all of that time that it took, I only ever got five diamonds and none of them were max weight or max score. Then the other night, as I was talking about black bears and how much of a pain that they are to grind now and maybe thinking that maybe there could be some changes and some improvements for the black bears, and I even made a post about it in the official Discord saying that it would be great to see bears being made a little bit better and a bit more like they were pre the changes to SRP, pre the redistribution and stuff. And I even put a post on my community tab saying I didn't really know if a black bear grind was going to be really feasible right now just because it feels like there's next to no male black bears it's just very strange in comparison to how it used to be and I'm not the only one who's experienced this it seems to be a fairly you know wide problem that most people are having with the black bears so I was talking about all that but I just had that gut feeling go and grind black bears and then I shot another max weight max score and that just told me just keep going just for a couple of days at least and see what happens ended up shooting this diamond got very lucky with that shot getting the liver but another diamond and then last night, I was in a call actually with Flinter, Kyla and my fiance, and we were all, you know, playing Call of the Wild, doing different grinds and stuff. And we were just chatting away and I shot that bear that we had down in front of me right there. And I dragged my crosshairs across to shoot the next bear that stood in the zone. And I just saw spots. I saw spots in my scope and I just immediately took the rifle out of you know being in scope mode because i was like no i need to not shoot because i almost shot a 10 fabled black bear without even being recording like you'll literally see in a second i'll pick it up that level six it i shot it and like i said i immediately just went to go and shoot the next bear thinking it'd be just like a level five or a level six or a level seven and i just i just saw spots in the scope and immediately, like I said, I just panicked. I, I screeched. I was like, what is that? That's a freaking great one black bear. So you can see this level six was actually alert and I shot him while he was stood up. Because this particular zone, I sort of come over a little bit of a ridge and then jump into my tripod and try to shoot the bears either as they're fleeing or just before they flee. And like I said, I shot that level six because he was actually stood up, giving me a perfect shot. So I shot him and I could just see a, a bear, the shape of a bear. And I, I didn't really register that it was anything until I looked through the scope and just saw spots. Like I said, I almost shot this guy <laughs> without even knowing he was there. 
I just almost did it on pure reflex. I'm really, really grateful that I just took that second to spot it and saw the ten fabled pop up and obviously, like I said, saw the white spots because it's a fabled spotted. And I, I just screeched. I just, I was, this is a ten fabled. These guys are so rare. This is the rarest great one in the game, hands down. You do not see a lot of great one black bear. They are notoriously hard to grind for. They are notoriously difficult in trying to get them to show up, just even with grinding. If you get one, you know, as an initial spawn or in multiplayer, I've seen that happen a couple times, it's ridiculously lucky. But even getting one to show up on a dedicated grind is incredibly lucky. And this just showed up. I can't have been more than, like, four or five hundred kills, if that, into this grind total. Like I said, I did some before Emerald Coast, which I didn't really talk about. I had those clips sort of in storage and I was going to put them into the next grind video for whatever species I was grinding for and talk about the, you know, the fact that black bears are just so hard to grind for at the minute and all of that because, like I said, I found them to be quite difficult and then this guy shows up last night and everything just went insane. Now, I did do exactly the same with this guy as I did with my fallow deer great ones and stuff. I did follow him from zone to zone and actually get these different zones and then go around and film him. So obviously we saw him there at his drink zone. Well, even though he was slightly out of his drink zone because I had just spooked him off. But at this lake right here and then we have the two rest zones and the feed zone. All within this kind of like triangle shaped area. And... Like, you can see the hunting pressure there from the level 6 that I shot from that tripod. I I just, I couldn't, I couldn't process what I was looking at. I really couldn't. And I managed to get some of the best Great One footage I think I've ever taken of this guy. Honestly, it's up there for me with some of my favourite footage. And it's honestly, I think some of the best footage I've managed to capture. Because especially in his feed zone in the morning... I managed to get insanely close. Like, this I thought was pretty close. We're going to get way closer than this in a minute. And honestly, the whole time, I was still in call. Like I said, I was talking with Flinter and Kyla and my fiancé, and I was freaking out the whole time, just panicking about the fact that there was a Great One Black Bear on my map. I, do I say this in every video where I get something really special. I don't take these things for granted. And I know, I know... I'm having the most insane streak of luck right now and I know that it looks insane when you like look at my recent videos and everything and I'm just going to put up on screen how many hours I've played recently and my total playtime overall on PC because I want you to realise that I'm not just you know playing for a little bit and stumbling into these trophies I'm still putting hundreds of hours of work into the, you know into these grinds and stuff even though they might seem like they don't take very long it's still a lot of work like it's got to be over 100 hours into the black bear grind just from different days and stuff i would imagine of actually grinding for them even though it was sort of on the back burner and not necessarily a grind i was really focusing on or going completely all out on it still adds up the amount of time and like i said my first black bear grind took 4.8 thousand kills and then one showed up. This guy is a much quicker grind, but he's still an incredibly special trophy. Like, I do not take this for granted. <laughs> I do not take this for granted in any way, shape, or form. I did not think that one was actually going to show up. I actually said in the call, before this guy showed up, I said the words, I know a great one probably can show up. Like, it's probably still possible, just with... The amount of bears, you know, because like I said, it feels like there's not a whole lot of bears. So I said, I, it just doesn't feel like one will spawn just because there's so few bears to actually grind. It just feels like it, there's not that much chance of one actually spawning. And even at my best lakes, I'd only get a handful of male bears. So it just didn't feel like almost it didn't feel possible. And that's such foreshadowing, thinking about how it then happened. We were just chill in a call talking away looking at i, I know flint had talked about it on stream we were looking at trail camera footage and talking about deer and real life hunting and i was saying oh gosh you know this footage is so cool i you know wanting to go out on real life hunts 
and getting all excited about that because I love watching trail camera footage and stuff. It's so cool to me. And then just literally just after we did that, it can't have been more than 10 minutes later, this showed up and I just panicked. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I wish I wish that I was recording for these reactions sometimes because I just panic. I like the immediate hyperventilating and stuff. I just pure panic when a great one shows up or, you know, anything like this shows up. I just go into full panic mode. And I spent all night hunting this guy practically from about 11 o'clock my time till gone 4 o'clock in the morning. Just finding his zones, filming these these moments... Uh, it was also worth it like this is just such a rare thing and it's such a rare encounter that i was making the absolute most of it i don't know if i'll ever see another great one black bear and i said that with my first one you just never know i really wanted the second one to put in the multi-mount with my first one from way back when they released but i never thought that it was actually going to happen especially not right now with the way that bears are and like I said, if you've, if you've been out to SRP recently since the changes and you've tried to hunt black bear, you probably know what I'm talking about. There just feels like there's so few bears. And I, you know, I don't know if they changed the, the population or anything when they changed all the things with SRP, but it just feels like there's so few in comparison to what they used to be. And they're so spread out and they're so inconsistent. It's really strange. And like I said, I just didn't think it was going to be possible. <laughs> And then he shows up. Like, I don't know if I... Because I said that, SRP was like, do you know what? I'm going to show you is possible. But <laughs> I don't know. It's just so insane. Like, I don't know if I've swallowed a lucky rabbit's foot in my sleep or something. But I've never gotten this lucky in Call of the Wild. The The amount of, of luck I've had in, like, the last week has been ridiculous. And it's so funny how it goes because I have spent so long on the moose grind without much luck and then finally, finally got one after so many thousands of kills and months and months of work. And then literally the great ones are super rare, all of this in like the last week. I, I just, I don't, I don't know what to say about it. I don't know what to say other than hard work is like all paying off at once, I guess. It's just insane. And this footage, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. This is, like I said, some of the best Great One footage I've ever gotten. And if you're wondering how I got so close to this bear, this is something that I do quite regularly now with approaching animals. If you approach them from behind or sort of a behind them angle as you will have seen I was moving sort of more and more towards his front which is why he went alert and then turned there. If you can, can get behind them, they're a lot less aware. So that's why I try to approach from behind and then slowly, slowly move around. And I go very slow to try and keep my visibility and my noise to an absolute minimum. I try to move really, really, really slow and just try and creep round until I get into that, that position I'm looking for. And also, obviously, pay attention to your wind. Make sure that you work with the wind and keep it away from that animal. So you don't want your wind blowing towards that animal. And if you work with these couple of things, you can get really close to animals. And as uh, as close as I've gotten to some great ones before, didn't expect to get this close to a great one black bear. Absolutely did not expect this. I was freaking out in call as this was happening. I was like, I'm like 10 meters away from this thing and he's feeding and he's calm. Like, just look at that. What a sight. Now, unfortunately, there was a tiny lag spike here for some reason. And then he stands up. You can see he's now noticed me because I was more within his like vision. And I do think they have some sort of like vision cone. And once you enter it, then they're more aware of you. And then obviously, as soon as he turned around and actually saw me, he went alert, alarmed, fled immediately because I was so close. So that was insane. And like I said, that has to be some of my absolute favourite footage I've ever taken. Absolutely. Just wow. To get that close to a great one in general, but not just a great one, a great one black bear. You know, they're, they're known for having really good senses and being very hard to get close to. And to get that close to a great one, absolutely insane. But it does take time to get that close. It doesn't just happen. 
you know, I spent a good amount of time just stalking in really, really close and just being as silent and as much in cover and stuff as for as long as I possibly could. Basically, I expected him to spook when I first started recording the really up close footage there. I expected him to spook not long after, but because I was mostly behind him, like I said, I, ju I think they have some like vision cone or something because you approach an animal from behind or from like a behind angle and they just definitely can't see you as well as they can if you approach them from the front. So if you really, if you have an animal like a great one or a diamond or a rare or a super rare, whatever, and you want to try and approach it, try approaching it from behind. And obviously, like I said, work with the wind and just use that to your advantage. And you should be able to get really close. It takes time. You've got to be really slow and really careful with it. And like I said, if you can get into vegetation and stuff, definitely use that. But you can you can get really close to animals in this game, and it's just such fun for me. And obviously, we have him here in one of his rest zones, which is just fantastic to see. So we got to see him basically at his drink zone, pretty much, then at a feeding zone, and then here at a rest zone. And here he does actually notice me again. He stands up, does that kind of glitchy thing. Now, talking about that glitch, while he actually runs me over here, I actually thought he might have gone aggressive because he ran me over a couple of times. There is a very specific reason why I'm going to take him in the way I'm going to take him. Because as we make this final stalk on him here while he's actually feeding, and he's nervous because I believe a mountain lion spooked him off before I got to this zone, because I gave him some time to get to his zone first, and there was like mountain lion calls and stuff around. So I think one spooked him off and then he came back. Now, you will have seen a couple of times the stand-up glitch happening. Now, what the stand-up glitch is, is sometimes a bear will be on all fours and then very, very quickly glitch into the standing upright position and then glitch back down. It's a, basically a bug with their animations. And this can be fatal. If you take a shot and it glitches like that, your perfect broadside lung shot turns into a gut shot or a miss. And I did not want to risk that on a trophy as rare as this. And getting him to see him roar like that up close was so cool. He's so pretty. This is so cool. <sighs> but I didn't want to risk that. I didn't want to risk that at all. So I had a plan, which was the same plan as I had with my first Great One Black Bear. Basically, if you can catch them in an animation like feeding or drinking, where they have their heads down actually drinking or, like I said, feeding then they can't do that whole stand-up glitch thing. That only happens when they are alerted. So if you can catch them while they're calm and actually in an animation set, they won't do that stand-up glitch. And you can see here he's doing the feeding animation. So this is what I'm talking about. So while he's in that animation set, he can't glitch. And I am just going to use the 300. Not taking any risks. You know, sometimes with bows and stuff, it can go wrong. And with that glitch being a thing, I just wanted to smoke him. And as you'll see, he dropped like an absolute stone on the spot with that one shot from the 300. It took him down instantly. As soon as I saw him flop over like that, like I said, down like a stone, I was just so relieved. I was shaking. I was hyperventilating. I... Uh, I, literally i was shaking like a leaf to the point where my teeth were like almost knocking together from shaking so hard it was just such an anxiety filled moment because i know they have that glitch and i didn't want to end up with a gut shot bear and you know mess up a great one so i you know specifically planned for him to be in that animation set with his head down so that he, there was no risk of him doing that stand up thing and i highly recommend this if you are going after a trophy bear of any description it, it can you know because it doesn't just happen to great ones it happens to normal black bears and normal brown bears brown bears have the same thing if you are really nervous about that glitch happening, wait until they are in an animation set, if you can. This is the best way I have found to avoid that glitch. I've had it happen to me. I had it happen on a legendary brown bear and it almost cost me the diamond. And if you can wait until they have their heads down drinking or feeding or, you know, they're actually doing something other than being walking around alert then you won't risk getting that stand-up glitch. So that's why I waited specifically for that shot. And I'm so glad I did because we now have a second great one, Black Bear, 25.93. He is an absolute beast. What a stunning animal. 
like, oh my god. He is so pretty. People call this the Star Bear and the Galaxy Bear and both those names fit. I mean, he is like a galaxy. He's so beautiful. And obviously he's got the big white star on his forehead, which looks just incredible. And then all these little white spots going throughout the body. Even like then coming down onto the one leg and paw, just like that extra white. It looks so cool. So, so cool. And something I also notice is on the one hind leg, he has what looks to be like a scar. And it's in the shape of a crescent moon. Everything about this is like a night sky, which is just it's so cool. It's so cool to me. This is just an incredible animal and one I never thought I, I would see. Like, once I got my first Great One Black Bear, I was pretty confident I was never going to get another and now I have a second. There you can see that scar on that hind leg. It is like a crescent moon. Just wow. The design of this is so beautiful. He is really a stunning, stunning bear. I, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know what to say. I want to go and continue to grind black bears now as much as I was talking about how awful they are and how I never thought, you know, it was really going to be feasible to get another great one bear. I kind of want to go and try my luck again because whatever luck streak I'm on, I'm, I don't know why I'm on this lucky streak. I don't know what's happened. I don't know what this shift in my luck has been in the past, like I said, about the past week or so. But I will take it. <laughs> I will take it. I just, yeah. I was hoping and praying that, you know, when that moose grind was taking forever, that eventually I get some, some luck come back. And it has come back and it has come back in such a huge amount. This is the luckiest I've ever been ever been in call of the wild you know over four and a half thousand hours on pc plus about a thousand hours on xbox out of all of that time this is the luckiest period of time for trophies i have ever had ever had hands down and it just keeps happening and i don't know what to say i just don't know what to say it's almost to the point where i'm like do i should i go and grind for things because it, this is kind of like they just keep showing up <laughs> Which makes me want to grind for things, but I also know, you know, when trophies keep showing up like this, it's it's just insane. Like, I don't know how to explain it, because, like I said, I've been so unlucky in the lead up to this, and now I'm just getting lucky and lucky and lucky and lucky and lucky again. I don't know what to say. All I can say is I put a lot of time into the game, and now things are showing up, and I couldn't be more grateful. <laughs> I couldn't be more grateful. It's It means such a lot to me. <sighs> and now, returning to the Trophy Lodge. We have my first Great One bear here. He was a fabled cream. And, yeah, I loved the experience I had with this bear. We followed him around and took some pictures. And it was really, really awesome. But I've been wanting to make this multi-mount for basically since the, the bear multi-mount release. The bear necessities mount. I've want, wanted to do this with two Great One Black Bears. And you can see all my other black bear diamonds and stuff in here. And we're going to go through and we are going to put the two fabled ones in this multi-mount. And we're going to put them right here in my corridor of great ones. You have the fallow huddle mount behind, which we've just completed. You've got my great one white tails on the wall. My last great one moose at the end. And we have this mount now and i'm gonna go through all the poses but i'd already got a pose in mind i had made this mount with a couple of diamonds just to look through the poses and actually choose one now for a second i did think about these poses because they look kind of cool but there was one specific pose i had in mind and it's this one i think that looks incredible can you imagine like it just for me it's just the sight can you imagine the sight of two great one black bears actually running alongside each other like if you actually saw that in game it would be insane and this is basically the closest i think i'm ever get gonna get to being able to capture that and that's why i really like this particular mount i just think it shows them off really well it shows off just their beauty and everything about them i think it shows it so perfectly and i just love the the motion in this mount i think it looks so good and it just, to me, this looks so 
cool and it fills out the, the platform so much better just than than just the one bear which is the other reason i really wanted to do it because it just fills out this mount a bit more and helps complete this this corridor a bit more just oh, I, i'm i don't know what to say i've rambled again throughout this video that happens every time that something like this actually ha ends up happening i ramble and i get emotional and all of these things because yeah i, I don't know what to say like I don't know what to say. I'm so grateful for this happening that I can't explain it. Because, like I said, I had such bad luck with the moose. And then, finally, I ended up getting my two Great One moose after... It took twelve, about 12,000 kills for my two Great One moose. And several months of work to get that amount of kills. And then, since then, my luck has just been, like, on turbo. It's been insane and... I don't know what I did to deserve it, but I will just take it and be grateful because there's nothing more than I I love more than being able to capture these moments and share them with all of you. As soon as I, you know, one of these spawns, I can't keep it secret. Everyone tells me, just don't tell anybody, don't tell anybody, keep it a surprise. I can't. I want to tell you all. I want to, to share it immediately. And, you know, this happened last night and I'm only getting a chance to record it now. And I'm getting emotional talking about how it felt to go and be able to harvest this it it means a lot you know i put like i've said i put a lot of time into this game and when things pay off it means so much to me and you know i'm very proud of all of the trophies i have in my trophy lodge they all mean something to me and getting to share those moments means an awful lot to me it's it's one of my favorite things to do it's why i started making content is so that i can share capture and share these moments and as soon as something happens, something really cool happens, I just want to talk about it and be able to show you and tell you what happened because I just get so incredibly excited. I uh, One day I hope that I can set up to record live reactions so you can hear what it's like when a great one gets spotted in, in my house <laughs> because it's just, oh my god, there's a great one, and then screeching because <laughs> I'm panicking and just so incredibly excited and then i'm emotional and all of these things and yeah it happened and i don't know what to say i just i just don't i don't know what to say i don't know what to say about my luck recently i'm just incredibly grateful and i think that's all i can say is just yeah i'm really really grateful and i'm super 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 happy so happy i i'm just yeah beyond beyond words with this i can't believe it but that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. It's been a few really special videos recently and I don't know what to say. Uh, they just keep happening. I don't know. I might go and shoot a few more black bear and see what happens. Because if it's anything like fallow deer, maybe another one shows up. And if it does, I don't know what I'll, what I'll do other than panic again. But it's been an incredible like like i said about a week or so it's been a really insane time and i promise you there's some emerald coast content coming i've got like three videos ahead of myself at the moment with footage because things keep happening i was supposed to be recording a totally different video today but obviously this takes precedence this is the one that i need to record and get out there because i need to share this i need to i've been waiting all day to actually be able to record this so i'm super super excited that now i finally get to share it with you all but that is going to be it. So thank you so, so much for watching and for all of your incredible support, as always. You have all been so amazing. And I really am humbled by it and incredibly grateful. So thank you all so, so much. And to anybody who's out there on a great one grind right now, keep going and sending you all of the luck that I have left. I'm sending it all your way because, yeah, I know what these grinds are like. I know, I know how much they can take out of you. And especially if things aren't showing up i can totally relate with that looking at you great one moose but yeah i you know, just keep going i'm sending it all your way and yeah i love hearing about all your grinds i love hearing about all your trophies so yeah i'm really looking forward to to seeing what you guys think of this incredibly beautiful trophy but thank you so so much for watching and i will see you in the next video thank you